Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make git commits uh, so they commit to your Pivotal Tracker. Uh, it's a relatively easy process to do. So first things first, you need to go into your Pivotal Tracker, go to your profile, and I'm going to go slowly down so I don't show my token, but down here is your token. And you want to grab the token that's down inside that section. You want to come over here into on your GitHub account. So you go to your repository and go to the settings. Go to web hooks and services. And you want to add the service Piddle Tracker. I've already added it, so it's gone out of my list, but go ahead and add that and stick your token in there. Uh, how you connect the accounts. Branch, if you only want to look at or listen to the one uh, branch, then go ahead and enter that in there. Uh, and the endpoint, if you need to change that, usually you don't because it should just default to uh, PiddleTracker.com. So I'd left mine empty, so it just listens on all branches. Now, uh, for your git commits, I'm going to go ahead and check out a different branch here. And so I'll have to open it up here. So, I like to use the, uh, the GitX or some sort of visual thing so I can build my commits better. So here we're just going to go ahead and make some changes and save those changes. Okay, so here I've made these changes. First of all, I need to go to my Piddle Tracker and go ahead and create a story. Hit commit story. So when you open up the story, you can click the ID and it'll, it'll copy this uh, ID here into your clipboard and now we come here and we make a title making commits and then we can describe the uh, I can spell commit and down on the last one we, we go ahead and put the that ID in there inside the brackets now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can do it just like that and it'll attach it. Or if it's a story and you want to uh, finish it, you say finishes and it'll automatically finish the story for you. You don't have to click that button. Or if it's a bug, you can do fixes and it'll automatically finish that for you. If by chance you have a second story and you want to attach that story to it as well, then you can do that. You can attach several stories to this, and it'll, it'll go to each one of them. So I go ahead and commit that. Push it up. And automatically comes in here and uh, attaches to there. And had I put finishes, it would have automatically finishes that. So let's, let's try that. And you can put these in here in any order, but I, I find it easier to read if, if the story ID is very last. This ID can be the very first if you really want to, but I find it easier at the, at the end of it. Up there. See, 
automatically finish that second story that I stuck in there. So it's easy as that. Anybody have any questions? None for me. It looks pretty simple. So thanks for showing us. Yeah, it's, it's super simple. And anybody looking at this story can say, okay, yeah, here's a commit that uh, says I did this. So. Oh, I guess one quick question. You do have to set this up per project? Per project, yeah. Okay. So each, each people tracker, or each, each GitHub thing should connect into this. So, like you, you only have to connect your account once to it, but uh, as long as those accounts are connected, then when you put the story ID in, it will go to the uh, the uh, appropriate Pivotal Tracker instance. So when you're working with a client and they've got their own Pivotal Tracker uh, set up, then they have to go in and set up the, the connection. And then anytime you can commit to GitHub, it'll go to their story. So basically, as long as you have access to the story that this ID is in, it'll go to it. Okay. So it's basically one, it's a one-to-one -one correspondence. One Pivotal Tracker project to one GitHub project. No. Uh, so I may have misspoke there. So you've got your your API token for your account in Pivotal Tracker. You connect that to your webhooks in, in GitHub. And now anytime... Uh, Anytime you can commit to this branch or this uh, this repository, it'll go to there. So it's it's on a per repository basis. It's not, but the the pill tracker API always stays the same. Okay. Does that make so sense? In Pivotal Tracker, it's each developer has to get their own token from inside of Pivotal Tracker. No. No, just the person that that owns the Pivotal Tracker and the repository. Okay, so it is a one-to-one. -one. Yes. Sorry. Okay. That, yeah, that's, sorry, maybe I asked the question incorrectly. So it's one Pivotal Tracker project, API token from that Pivotal Tracker project, to one GitHub repository. So whoever has administrative rights on each, usually it's the same person, but if not, you'd have to coordinate across multiple people. Yeah. But whoever owns the Pivotal Tracker project goes in, grabs that token, and then they have to go to the GitHub repository, go in the webhooks, add the token there. Correct. So right now, where this is set up with some of the projects, this will work for all of the developers in those projects. Correct. Okay. That's what I was wondering, is if each developer had to go in and do this Oh projects, no! But it's it's global. Like once it's yep. done, it's done. And so now, if everybody starts doing this, where they grab the pivotal step tracker um, story ID and puts it in their commits, then this will just it'll just work. Yep. Perfect. So, go ahead and do it now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.